Good morning and welcome to this Christmas assembly. I wonder if any of you have any favourite Christmas films or books. 12YD asked Year 9 about their favourite Christmas films and what they like about them. What's your favourite Christmas movie? Home Alone. Mm -hmm. Which one? Um, my one's the first one. First one. What was your favourite part in it? Um, about the traps. Mm -hmm. It was creative and funny. The traps? The traps? The traps. What traps? Yeah. Which ones? Jack? Mm. Um, the weed. The bucket traps though on the stairs. Who was your favourite characters? Oh. My, my one, the Marv, he's funny in the movie. What's your favourite movie and why? Um, it's the Christmas Chronicles movie. Why is that? Because Santa gets caught by the police and he gets sent to jail. What's your favourite character in the movie? Um, Santa is more better. Why is that? I don't know, it's just my favourite. Mm -hmm. what's, what? your, what's your favourite Christmas movie? The Simpsons Christmas. The, um, the, the Simpsons Christmas. Why do you like it? Because... Um, well, I just like it. Um, I, li I like it a lot. What's your favourite Christmas movie? My favourite Christmas movie is Elf. And um, why do you like it? It's so funny. I laugh and laugh and laugh every time I watch it. What would <laughs> so be your favourite part? My favourite part? When he goes to meet his dad in the office. Mm -hmm. Very good. Love that part. <laughs> What about you, Miss? My favourite Christmas movie is Christmas with the Cranks, which is about a family whose daughter is away and they decide they're going to go on a big holiday instead of having Christmas. So they're actually, all their friends are decorating their houses and they're hiding in their house because they have no decorations up. And then at the very last minute, their daughter comes home and they have to stay at home and throw a big party and all their neighbours join in and they help them save the day. But it's really very, very funny movie. So why do we celebrate Christmas? The reason is that Christians around the world celebrate the birth of God's Son, Jesus, at Christmas time. We are now going to read the story of the true meaning of Christmas. God sent the angel Gabriel to a girl who lived in Nazareth, a town in Galilee. She was engaged to marry a man named Joseph. Her name was Mary. The angel came to her and said, Greetings, the Lord is with you. You are very special to him. Don't be afraid, Mary, because God is very pleased with you. Listen, you will become pregnant and have a baby boy. You will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be the, be the Son of God. Sometime later, the Romans who were in charge of the country ordered everyone to travel to their own hometown to have their name put on a list. So Joseph left Nazareth and went home to the town of Bethlehem. Mary went with him because she was engaged to marry him. She was now pregnant. While well, Joseph and Mary were in Bethlehem, the time came for her to have the baby. She gave birth to her first son. She wrapped him up well and laid him in a box for cattle or fed. She put him in there because the guest room was full. That night some shepherds were out in the fields near Bethlehem, watching their sheep. And the angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the, the glory of the Lord was shining around them. The shepherds were very afraid. The angel said to them, Don't be afraid. I have some very good news for you. News that will make everyone happy. Today our Saviour was born in Bethlehem. He is God's son. This is how you know. You will know him. You will find a baby wrapped in pieces of cloth and lying in a feeding box. Then a huge choir of angels from heaven joined the first angel and they were all praising God, saying, Praise God in heaven and on earth, let there be peace. The angels left the shepherds and went back to heaven. The shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this great event the Lord has told us about. So they went running and found Mary and Joseph. And there was the baby lying in the feeding box. 
When they saw the baby, they told what the angel said about this child. Everyone was surprised when they heard what the shepherds told them. The shepherds went back to their sheep, praising God and thanking him for everything they had seen and heard. It was just as the angels had told them. After Jesus was born, some wise men came from the east. They were following a bright star in the sky. The star went before them until it stopped above the place where the child was. They were very happy and excited to see the star. The wise men came to the stable where the child was with his mother Mary. They bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened the boxes of gifts they had brought for him. They gave him treasures of gold, frankincense and more. Christmas is when Christians celebrate Jesus' birthday. Here are all the pupils in Park School who have a birthday during the Christmas season. Lewis Somerville, Year 9, on the 22nd of December. Stephen Connor in Year 12, on the 23rd of December. Holly Miller, Year 9, on the 24th of December. Tyler McKee, Year 8, on the 27th of December. Ellie Ball, Year 11, on the 28th of December. And so does Carson Gillespie in Year 11 have his birthday on the 28th of December. Then Carson Keenan in Year 9 has his birthday on the 29th of December. So happy birthday when your birthdays all arrive. Last of all, some special mentions to Mrs Marsh who knitted the wonderful people and animals for the nativity scene, Mrs McCutcheon's husband who made the stable, Miss McConville for letting us use her beautiful nativity set, Mr Sinton for editing and putting together the clips, and of course 12YD for taking part. And can I just wish you a happy Christmas.